I'm gonna go so, back to the question you said about depression. Yes, sir. Why we in depression? Yes, sir. While we are still in depression, I'm gonna go back to the question you just said just a minute ago. While we still here in depression. Oh, it's simple. Give, give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Start at 1. Start at 1. The reason why we're in this condition, like I said before, because we broke the laws of God. So the only way to get out is to do what? If we, if, there you go. It's that simple. God, God makes it, this. This Bible is not hard. The simplicity of Christ is to keep the commandments, like He said. That's it. In the faith of Christ, it's just that simple. I get that. But What's up? Going back to slavery back then, way back then, yeah. right? So as they broke us in, that's in mentally inside our brain, right? For decades and years and years. Yes, and sir. Years. Yes, sir. That's why we're still here in this exactly. situation. So I don't understand how how to get out of it. I mean. It's hard. No, it's it's, 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 no, it's, it's hard. back then. I, I, I can go for that. Back then from slavery. Right, that's what I'm saying. But look, so here's the thing about it. Give me, Jeremiah, look, give me Jeremiah 17 and 4 real quick. I'm going to show you what what was going to happen to us and how we get out of it. It's going to show you, according to the Bible, like the mindset. It's going to, listen, all this is yeah, prophecy. They, they, they Everything happened the way it did. I know. So, no, listen, I thought, I thought it was okay to shave my face growing up in this society. I thought it was. But when I read the laws of God, when I was taught this, I found out that we're not as a man to shave our faces. We're not to have a baby face like the world tells you to do. Right. When you go on a job, what they want you to be? Yeah, Mostly uh, clean, clean shaven, right? But who, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but look, but they want you to be baby face, right? But who taught you that? That's not God's law. The white man told you that. The white man wants you to be uh uh what's that what's that word um androgynous? Androgynous. Basically <laughs> to blend up to blur the lines. Think about it because heard of it. They, they listen, heard of this is what it is. And trying this means I, that the like men and words. women, they, they look alike. Put it for example, Put how do you know what a, how you know the difference between a man and a woman if they're standing beside each other? I know the difference between a man and a woman, a woman because <laughs> a man is a man and a woman is a woman. But physically, what what do you see on them? How do you know that a man is a man and a woman is a woman? I mean, nine times out of ten, she got breasts, he don't. He said because the woman has breasts and he doesn't. So now, what are they doing in society now? Aren't women chopping up their breasts to be a man? Yep. Aren't men putting... Uh, that stuff in their chest to look like a woman that's what he means by androgynous androgyny that's what he means oh. to blur the lines so yeah. now you can't tell now you got the it's, transsexuals it's, out here it's basically right? like some come trick on. you type it, that's shit. all that's, that's why this and that's why listen, when it says come out of her my people that's why God is saying come out of her ways because these ways lead to death because a man and a man cannot produce a child. God said, be, be fruitful and multiply. Right. How can you multiply with a man? Never, ever, ever. How can ever, a woman ever. do that with a woman? Mathematically impossible. So is God dumb? God told you to come out for a reason. He said, stop shaving your beard. Stop looking like a baby or a woman. Only people that don't have beards are women and, and little children. No, some men don't grow. Listen, listen but they do have something. They yeah, do have something yeah, for you guys. Some, but you know what I'm saying. Alright, so this is the definition of androgynous. Thank you, sir. Having the characteristics or nature of both male and female. Neither specifically feminine nor masculine. See, that's the point right there. A lot of our women are masculine hey, nowadays. But, but, and a lot but, of our men see, take on that feminine role. See, that's that, why that, the, the that, lines were blurred and changed over. Keep reading that. Read that. that. Having traditionally male... Tra traditionally... And female roles obscured or reversed. See, obscured or reversed. Meaning, but, obscured meaning but, you can't tell the difference, that, and reversed that word, meaning flipped that, altogether. That, that word more sound like somebody that's uh, what do you call them women that have two parts? Or the men. Oh, you talking about uh, hermaphrodite? No, no. Hermaphrodite, yeah. Hermaphrodite. That's what that. That's what the meaning of that word more sound like to me. No, it, it, you, you didn't hear that, bro. We I heard, heard that. that bro. You, you having a character? It said roles. It said roles reverse in your mind. No, nah, roles reverse in your mind yeah, and yeah, having I, a character. I, 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 we do follow the rules and do what we're supposed to you do. You know what I'm saying? Treat people how you want to be treated. Right, but that's the thing. Go to go to uh, Leviticus 19 and 17. That's the great point. Yeah, and, but it starts with nationhood. Them. It starts with us treating each other um, better. No, well, that's right. what we deal with everybody because when you go, not to say you, but most people when they go home, they go to home to a community that looks like them. Like, I'm going to tell you like this. Most of the people that live in, in the projects and in, in the ghettos, they see each other every day, right? They don't leave for the most part. Yeah. There's a lot of hate there. That's where most of the crime and violence starts, right? That's where all that stuff populates. Those are boys. But God says, if you, like you said, love your neighbor as yourself, we wouldn't have violence. We wouldn't have adultery. We wouldn't have murders and stealings and things of that nature because I would, if I don't want to, if I don't want you to steal something from me, I wouldn't steal from you, right? If I, I don't want 
I don't want you to kill me so I want to sleep with your wife. It's just, it's just yeah, simple. Yeah, Read it. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, yeah. verse 17. Now remember, this is everything coming out the Bible. Everything we're saying is coming out the Bible. The same version y'all got, King James Version. Read it. <laughs> thy shall not hate thy brother in thy heart. God said not to hate your brother in your heart like we just spoke about. What is hate? Hate is breaking the laws of God. So if I want to love you, I'm going to keep the laws of God. Read that again. Thy shall not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thy shall in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. I'll get sin from you real quick. Now it says, if I, if I see you in sin, though, I'm going to have to rebuke you, meaning correct you. Yeah. But don't take a person. It's all. It's like a, it's like dealing with your with your family. I wouldn't want my family to go out there and start uh, uh, being a menace out here. So I'm gonna talk to. Them. Hey, look, man, you get, don't do that, man. That's, that's the foolish thing you're doing. Come back to a better way. Show them a better path. You wouldn't want your best friend or your brother to do something crazy. So you're gonna talk to them, make sure they don't do it. Same thing is saying here. But I treat all of y'all like all of y'all like my brothers and sisters. All when I see y'all, y'all not just some random people. When I see y'all, I see the children of God. All right, y'all are my brothers and sisters. So I, you don't have to worry about. Right, let's check this out right here. All these people in purple, when I'm around them and I put my wallet down, I don't have to worry about nobody, no money coming up missing. I don't have to worry about nobody sleeping with my wife. Those things that's not on my mind because we have a brotherhood here. But that's the same way I look at y'all. I wouldn't do nothing to y'all because I'm a child of God just like you are. Why would I do that to my brother? God said be better than everybody else. And it starts with keeping the laws of God. Keep going. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. All right, so it says, whosoever committeth sin transgresseth the law, meaning goes against the laws of God. All right? Finish it up. But sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is transgressing the law. So remember in the church they say, the laws are done away with, right? That's what I hear in the churches a lot. All the laws are done away with. The God nailed it to the cross and we don't have to keep laws. But we're here in the New Testament and it says, read that again. Whosoever commits sin transgressed also the law but sin is the transgression of the law so this is after christ died and we're still talking about the law that shows that the laws were never done away with and let's let's just let's just be let's just be smart for a second if the laws were done away with would it be a crime to rape somebody i just need a yes or no if hey. the laws are done away with can we rape people? It's always going to be laws in life. Right, I understand that. But if the laws are done away with, oh, can no, I murder my can brother do now? Whatever you want to do. Is it cool to murder my brother because the whatever laws are done you away with? Do. Whatever. And, According and, to that logic, and, right? It would be it would be no penalty because brother, there is no law. What about you? Oh, oh, I just, just, no, if there is no law, there is no penalty. Well, it, exactly. It's simple. So in this world today, can you can you run a stop sign and not get pulled over? It is law, so there's penalty. Period. So there is a law, right? So there's so we understand that we and, cannot deal and, with our brothers harshly because there's still a law in place. Definitely, we still abide by the Ten Commandments and the statutes that's, that's, that falls with it. Like Yo. it says, wear a beard, like have a beard or women. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Now I'm not sure if I knew this already, but there's a dress code that we all have. This is a simple law that we were uh, that we fell away from. Not because you know, it's because we didn't know. That's all. We, we was uh, put in slavery and taught these things by other nations, and our parents grew up in it, and that's just what it was. All right? You're a holy people. God said that you're supposed to be separate from everybody else. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Right, so what it's telling you is no cross-dressing. Now, if I ask you what is, what is um, a, a man should put on a woman's garment, what does that mean? What shouldn't a man wear if I say a man shouldn't put on a woman's garment? A dress, what else? Stockings, bra, hot pumps. It's, it's easy, right, to understand, right? So God said not to do that. That's when it goes into coming out of it because, like I said, in America, you're taught that it's okay to do that. That's why God says, come out of her, my people. Now, on the flip side, it says a, a woman should wear that would pertain to a man. Since you said that a woman's clothing is a dress, right? But if you look around, most of it, I don't see anybody with a dress except for one, one or two. But why is that? Who are the pants given to? I got you. Well, right. I, I, so you see a lot of people out of order right now. I got you. And we're just coming back to the laws. What's up? What Bible is that? King, listen, pull out your phone. It's the King James Version by the same one. Who wrote that Bible? Who wrote it? Yeah. The prophets of God. Okay. You mean who published it? No, no, I'm saying. Or who wrote it? You said what? Who wrote the Bible? 
the props of God. Props of God. Yeah, they, they wrote it. Pass that from generation Yes, sir. Yes, that's all it is. Yep. Yes, sir. White or black? Black. Black men. Black every man every prophet that? in this Bible is a, is a so-called uh, 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 black man. He's surprised. He's surprised. You're right. No, no. I'm so say this out, though, bro. Say this out. Because we've been taught that the white man wrote it, but King James... Is, was a black man. Right. He was a king of Scotland. It was it Scotland and England. Uh, yeah. England. Yep. He was so, a king. There you go, right there. Check it out, right there. Like a red fox. Did y'all know that King James was a black uh, man? They, they lied to you and say he was a white man and he was a, a homosexual a pedophile. But guess who said that to him? Said that about him? His enemies, the people that hate him. Right. Well, it'll make sense for your enemies to, to lie on you. But remember, we ruled Europe for how many years? For thousands of years. We was over that until the white man rose up and took it over. But before that, King James ruled. He was a black man. And what he did was he authorized the translation of this from Hebrew to Greek and Latin. That's what happened. All right? Oh, I see you. We live the best we can live. I got a daughter, so I'm trying to live her. Right. So, so, so with your daughter, though, do, let me ask you this. Would you have your daughter out here in a two-piece suit? No, no. That's, that's Why not? I'm trying to though? do what I got to do. Why not? Because there's no mention. It's not wrong. I mean, that's it's wrong. It's not right, right? But everybody else out here thinks it's cool to have your daughter no, out here it's not. butt naked with pedophiles and it's too much stuff going on here. That's the world we live in. But the Bible says to come out of that, to dress your daughters, to bring them up, not to be having sex before they uh, before they get married. Women are not supposed to have women are not supposed to have sex before they get married. Did you know that? Of course. It makes sense, right? Because think about this. If, if I have a daughter and I'm, you know she's saving her virginity, then this one guy that can slither in and finesse her, you know, oh, yeah, be able to take care of you, all this, all this. And she lets him, she opens up her legs and sleeps with him, and then he peels wheels, he's out of there. What's that gonna do to my daughter's mindset? She's she's broken. She don't know love anymore. Her trust is her trust is gone in men. And a lot of times that turns into women, turns to women because women are naturally affectionate. That's where, that's where you get lesbianism from. A lot of that comes from that. But naturally, a man, a woman is always supposed to be under a man. I'm going to explain that to you. Because take the simple take the simple example of a wedding. On a wedding, that you got the, the daughter dressed in white. Why would she be dressed in white? Because she's pure, untouched, a virgin, right? Let's keep on going. Now, who walks that her, the daughter down the aisle? The father. So the father's over the daughter, protecting her, providing for her, doing everything for her, building her up. There you go. So you understand. Everybody understands that. There you go. Exactly. It's so simple, right? And that's what we're trying to get back to because as a people, we gone away from that. We gone away from marriage. Marriage is not. It, it doesn't happen a lot no more. It's just a lot of baby mamas and baby fathers. A lot of nonsense. Child support. A lot of crazy stuff. The Bible says. Give me uh, Hebrews thirteen and fourteen. I mean, th thirteen and four. The Bible had the solution though. Because remember, outside of marriage comes a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. You're sleeping around a lot of women. Expect you might get a disease. You might have a baby, uh, baby mother over here, baby mother over there, and child support. You don't pay the child support. You let, you wind up in jail. Now you really can't support your child. Now the child grows up without a father. It's 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 a domino effect. How do you explain polygamy where the, the husband has several wives and that's not in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. Okay. That's not in the because Bible. Because they practice Christ that said too. one one from the beginning. Okay. It was always one man and one woman. There's no such thing as that. All right, Christ said it. We're going to follow Christ. All right, I'll read that for me. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. It says marriage, not boyfriend and girlfriend. Right. Because, like I said, boyfriend and girlfriend does what? It promotes uh, sexual activity amongst a lot of people. All right, there's no commitment there. All right, because if you think about it, marriage is very, it's a covenant. And we, we, we read the covenants in the Bible all the time, and covenants are sealed with, sealed with what? Your blood. So what kind of covenant happens between a man and a woman when they first come together? When they have sex. When a woman, you know what I'm talking about. There you go. That's a, that's a covenant being made. That's why this Bible is so spiritual. The, the child, yeah. They, so what? They produce children, you know. Well, well, yeah, before that though, before but when that. the man inserts his, his you know, genitalia into the woman for the first time, what happens to that woman when she loses her virginity? The hymen is broken. There you go. That's a covenant being made. People, people just take marriage as a joke. It's not a game. This is, this is what God gave us. This is very sacred. That's why it's one man and one woman. My covenant is with my wife. A lot of, now a lot of women today, they, you know, they're not going to have that same thing. But, from, but in not knowing that, when you learn it, what should you do now? Now you teach your children so they grow up in it. So they can have that same thing. So they can grow up in a better situation. Now, now your kids grow up and they're not out here selling drugs or hating on their brother or stealing. Doing all the things we talk about all the time. And when they grow up and see that example, 
what are their kids going to do? Now what do we got now? We got a nationhood now, right? We got nationhood. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.